on guys thanks for clicking on this video tonight we're going camping one night only just a quick overnighter because that is all that I could book up in advance uh, we're going to one of the best campgrounds in the whole state of Washington based on the pictures I've seen of this place it looks pretty awesome and the view from my campsite I got the best campsite in the campground and yeah the only reason it was one night only because two months ago when I booked it this was the only night available for it so I just snatched it up as soon as I saw it and if I like it, I have another two nights booked in two weeks from now. So we're gonna be going again, but tonight's just gonna be a quick overnighter just to see how I like it. We're gonna be doing some hiking. Uh, hopefully gonna find a couple cool places around where I'm heading. And yeah, it should be fun. Let's go. So we're at this place called Little Devil's Lunchbox right now. It's supposed to be one of the best rated places in Port Angeles for eating and I'm starving. So let's check it out, never been here. So I got the smoker right there. And it has arrived. That's a massive burrito. Wow, hefty. That's a damn good burrito. Smoked brisket inside. All right, all done with lunch. Let's get to the campsite before it gets later. It's a beautiful day, look at this. Completely blue skies. All right guys, we've arrived. And this is pretty cool so far. Right on the water. Our campsite's gonna be up here to the left, and it's gonna go way back into the woods, though. It's gonna be awesome. I think we're going this way? Nope, nope, that's a one way. We're going this way. Wow, look at that view. Yeah, I can see why this is rated pretty high, if not the highest. Campsites 16 through 24, these are just for like RVs. I would never do something like this. It's just out in the open right next to someone. That's that's not my idea of camping. I want to be in the woods and have at least some privacy. And our campsite is number 53, I think. This is where we want to be. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, to the right of me right now is amazing. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting excited. I was excited before, but now that I'm actually here, wow, look at that view. Sorry, my camera's mounted to my dash, so I'm not showing you what I see to the right, but I will once we get there. All right, guys, we've arrived. This is why this campsite is one of the best ones in the park. Look at that. That is awesome. Come on. We're just right here. Have our own little fence. Man. And apparently, I didn't even know this until I just read the sign coming in, but there is a World War II bunker somewhere out in that area. You have to drive to it and then hike probably. I'm gonna go be checking that out. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at some of the other campgrounds just so I know for the future and maybe there's a better one. We're gonna go look. I, I always like right when I get to a campground to just go walk through it and look at all the sites so you know for future reference. Because online, you get like one tiny little picture and you can't really even see how good it's gonna be until you're actually there and looking at them. Oh, look at this, just scored some firewood. Uh, wait, no, that's not firewood. That's just a stump for sitting. I want a stump for sitting around my fire. That's pretty sweet. Dang, I need that in my campsite. You could chop wood on that thing. Dang. This one's pretty sweet. Dang, actually. Okay. I actually like this camp site better. It's way bigger. You don't get as good of a view. I mean. You still do if you kind of come over here. Yeah, that's fine. Mine's more like right in the open there, but 
This one has way more privacy. It's a way bigger space and there's no one near you. You see this? There's nobody until it's like way up in there. This is a big sight here. I like this. Okay, now I know. Next time, this one's better. So, Salt Creek number 56 is the one to be at, in my opinion. But let's keep looking. That is one big tent. How many people are sleeping in there? See, these ones are, they have a great view, but they're very, very close together. How you doing? Yeah, no. Count me out on campsites that are that close. It's gotta have some privacy, you know? Oh, hold on a second. This is the bunker. Okay, it's just right here in the campground. We're gonna be going in there in a second. Dang, I always forget to bring my drone. The drone would be perfect here. There's even people out there. Right there. Man, this is cool. Wow. Just soak it all in. Ah, I love views like this. Freaking love it. That one also looks awesome. Pretty much any campsite along this whole bluff is going to be just phenomenal. Dang, this is a cool little spot. I like all these rocks. Okay, so now I'm wondering, how do you get in that bunker? I don't think they allow you to. Which is no fun. Looks like you got in through here. But it's all sealed over. Dang. Okay, I wanna go in there. Yeah, that top part, there's the ladder right there that goes up. That's how you get in. That's pretty cool. Back at my campsite now. Yeah, it'll definitely do. It probably has the best view, like the best opening right here. There's not a bunch of trees blocking it, but it's definitely not the best campsite. If that makes sense. Has the best view, but very little privacy to the next campground right here. And it's pretty small. I mean, I just have like this area right here. The one two over is the one you want to be at.
Bed tent is all set up. Uh, I'm not doing a sleeping bag this time. Uh, I want to see if just this blanket, just this top blanket, is going to do. Because the sleeping bag is, uh, it irritates me during the night, you know? It's just the noise it makes when you're rolling around in it. And, uh, like, the hood it always, like, gets in your face. And there's, like, these pull strings and zippers up there by the hood that always like scratches your face and your neck when you're rolling around so I'm just gonna try the blanket tonight it seems like it's gonna be a pretty warm night so I think I should be fine Tent set up. I only put the rain fly on for privacy. I know it's probably not gonna rain. But you know, got a change in the morning and stuff. Check out this cool place right here. This was also an old war bunker. And there's another one just like it straight down there. But that's really cool. You can actually go in here and there's like tunnels. And then you got that down there. I'm gonna go check out this place. This looks dope. Dang, I wonder what is behind that door. Nothing in here, just a room. I bet you that goes in far. That'd be so cool to go in there. Oh, well, I can kind of see in there. Whoa, that goes back far. Can you guys see that? Okay, hold on. I gotta get my other flashlight. This is what we need right here, the Phoenix. This bad boy is one of the best flashlights I've ever used. All right, let's see if you can see back here. Uh, oh my gosh, okay. I'm trying to get this on the video, hold on. Come on, focus. Do you see how far that goes? <laughs> Woo! Okay, well. Definitely wanna go in there. I don't think they want you going in there, obviously. It's blocked off, but I swear the other side looked open. I'm gonna go to the other side. All right, here we go. This is the one I drove through. And I actually don't think I was supposed to drive back here. Because there are cars parked over there. And there's more signs that say keep out over here. But I just, I don't know, I'm confused as to why there's a road here. But there's signs everywhere that says keep out. All right, let's see. Oh no, dang it. This one's not open either. I swear it was. Dang, it would be so cool to walk in there. 
This one's even more sealed. It's just a tiny hole. This is hard to do. Okay, here we go. Focus. It's not focusing. Come on. Dang it. But it definitely goes really, I mean, it connects to the other one, so. <sighs> That's lovely. See, does that mean keep out of here? I don't know. So there's the first tunnel, bridge, and everything under these hills is just a bunker, completely hidden. And it connects all the way across a huge hallway down to the other one. Then I've come to this one. This is like dead in the center of them. Looks like a prison with the bars. But there's nothing. It's all sealed off. This will be so cool to explore in here, especially at night. <laughs> all right, let's see. Well, that definitely goes. I can't see, but the camera can, so. Let's see, hold on. Okay. What do we got? Do you guys see anything? Because I can't. Let me see. There we go. Oh, I still can't really see. I can't see from where I'm standing, but you guys are seeing, so. All right, let's go back to the other end. Maybe, oh, I'm very tempted to go on top. You're not supposed to, but. There could be like a hidden hatch somewhere along this whole thing. I mean, there's gotta be like roof access to this. It's probably just hidden or buried. Dang, that would be so cool to go in there. Ah, okay, that is sick. Damn, look at that island out there. Wow. That is awesome. Completely growing with trees. I want to get to that island. It's very shallow. You can see it's very shallow. I can, you can seriously get to that. All right, we're gonna try this trail out. It's called Beach to Bunker Trail, so. Maybe there's another bunker once you get onto the beach? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, look at this right here. See, look at this, this whole area, man. Everything, everything I was just hiking on, I swear, I was just on top of a bunker. Wish you could go inside. Let's have a look. I don't think I'm gonna go to see much. Let's see. Oh yeah, that definitely goes back in there. Look at that. Let's see. It's so hard to get this to focus. Oh, look at it. In here. Come on, focus. Okay, how about this? I'll put this in here and this in here. There. Oh, there we go. You see that? That goes in there, man. And it turns down right down the hallway and goes left into a room. And people have been in there. There's graffiti. But I wonder how you get in there. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Looks like we got ourselves a viewpoint up here. This looks awesome. Wow, come on. Oh wow, oh I see, I see where we are now. So we were way up there earlier. All right, let's keep going. By the way, this is Susan's bench, just so stay off. Okay. <laughs> So I've managed to hike onto the beach to this cool little spot. 
It's like a little enclosed area all to myself. It's pretty awesome. Got the island right in front of me here. Check this out. This would be a great, and look, it's all rock too. It's crazy. This is just a huge slab of rock. Yeah, this would be a cool spot to come just to sit and eat lunch. I really want to get to that though. How do I get out there? All right, so I just climbed up this right here. So I didn't have to walk all the way back down the beach. And that's where I was just a second ago. That little spot. Yeah, look at the water though, how green it is. And you can see how shallow it is all the way. It's like waist deep all the way out there. I could easily just swim out there, walk out there. I think it'd be so cool to be on that island. Correction actually, a little bit further down, this is where I was. Not the other spot over there. What a cool campground, man. Check it out. There's three deer up there. Because as you know, once the fire goes out, the party's over. So I recently bought this thing here. This is a Goal Zero Yeti 200X. It is a portable charging station. It's super lightweight. I think it only weighs five pounds. Since I record with my phone, um, my phone's always dying and I've, I've tried using battery packs and they don't even really last that long and they don't charge my phone very fast. So I invested in this thing and so far it's working amazingly. It charges it super fast and heck I've already almost charged my phone completely and it's only wasted 6%. So I could charge my phone probably 10 plus times using this thing. It's a little overkill, but, you know, it's just nice having it, being able to, you know, bring anything I need and plug it in. It was just nice to have. I also brought these things along. I tried some of these last time I went camping, and they're actually pretty cool. It comes with, like, four or five packs in here, and you just throw the whole pack on. And it actually lasts quite a while. Like, the flames will stay blue and green for a good, like, solid ten minutes, and it's still working so picked up another pack it's just something cool to throw on all right guys night has fallen made a nice fire i've been waiting to get a little bit of coals going so i can make a hot dog for dinner polish dog actually from costco the best so i'm gonna get that started let's go There we go. Looks great, doesn't it? Doesn't that just look great? And now we play the waiting game. There we go. Got it propped up under my foot. 
Yeah, come on, baby, roast. Got my condiments out and ready. Phone's on the charger. Look at that. The phone has been on the charger for like well over two hours now, probably. And it's come on, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, well, it says 90%. That's like insane. Brought a little something special from home. Shh, don't tell anybody. It's not allowed in the park. Little Lagunitas, little something. Great beer. An old friend of mine back in Utah, where I used to live, introduced me to Lagunitas. Cheers. Mm. Still roasting away here. And it's getting pretty good. See it sweating? That dog's sweating. It's like that dog's sweating, dude. <laughs> See, this is my favorite time right now. You know, the kids are in bed. Not really, it's only like eight o'clock. Okay, it's nine o'clock, wow. But you know, it's a quiet time. Uh, crack open a couple beers, shh. Yeah, there's a sign on the front gate when you come in here that says uh, alcohol strictly prohibited. And it's like, why? Why, who, 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 who are you gonna harm? You know? It's like, who, who in their right mind doesn't crack open a beer at a campsite? It's so stupid. All right, let's talk condiments. All right. You might think I'm a little weird, but I'm the kind of guy that likes mayo on his hot dog. Yeah, only cool people like mayo. You know. You know what I mean. You over there, yeah. But some people are probably like, ah, oh, what's wrong with this guy? But, dude, trust me. Mayonnaise, ketchup. Sometimes that's it. In fact, that's all I brought this time, but... Mustard's also good. I honestly just forgot mustard. I thought I packed it, but I didn't. So we're just going mayo and mustard. No, man, that's not right. We're just going ketchup and mayo. Old classic fry sauce on the wiener. Yeah, speaking of it, that's looking real nice right now. Give it a turn. That's going to be the last rotation there. And then it's next stop, my anus. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you know, a little raw onion on top, mm, that's just, that's just dandy. The stars are out, it's pretty nice. All right, here's a little hot dog wisdom for you out there who doesn't know about this trick. Oh shoot, I'm ripping the bun. But here's what you do, all right? Don't burn yourself, so you use the bun to grab it, and you pull it off just like that. But then it's like, you can't just eat this with a cold bun. I mean, that's, no, that's not going to work. So here's what you do. You poke it through the bun and the hot dog one more time, like so. You bring her back over here, and you just let her get a little warm on the bun. A little warm, a little soft steam it a little bit mm. oh yeah oh yeah as Luigi would say we got a little bit of ketchup right there yeah and the most important ingredient of all Ooh, that looks pretty good all right let's eat this bad boy oh first bite time right here right here ah. Mm. You see that steam? Mm. Polish is way better. You can hear the waves right now. The stars are out. It's perfectly clear. Man, it's... Couldn't ask for a better night. Guys, I forgot one more thing that I was going to do. It's going to be awesome. I was going to do this. The funky flames. The magic flames. The color flames. Whatever they're called. Alright, check it out. We got these funky flames. Walmart. These ones I bought in Seaside, Oregon. They're called Mystery Fire. I'm gonna do both, see which one's better. Let's go. All right, I just added some more wood to the fire. Gotta get it nice and big. And then we'll throw them in so the flames are really big and colorful. 
All right, she's roaring now. We're gonna start with Walmart because I just have a feeling the seaside is gonna do better than Walmart. Come on, seaside. All right, let's try it. Here goes the Walmart. Ugh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Come on, Walmart. You're killing me right now. Oh, there it goes. Can you see it yet? See, the problem is I don't know how well it's going to show up on a camera. But it's definitely green and blue right now. Can you guys see that? Yeah, it doesn't show up very well on the camera. It's better in person. Yeah, you know, okay, you know what we need? I know what we need. Here, here's what we need. We're doing the seaside ones. We're gonna throw them both in. Watch this. Oh, there we go. Two packs. Oh, hell yeah. That one's much better, I think. Oh yeah, that one's much better. That one started way faster and it's way colorful now. Dang. That's pretty cool. Still going strong. Couple minutes in now. What's up guys? Just got in my tent. Um, it's actually pretty warm. I don't even need a sleeping bag. And uh, never showed you guys this before but this is the cool thing about my tent it has LED lights that are enlaced in the fabric on the inside on the roof so you can turn them on they look like this that's pretty cool it gives off a lot of light even though it doesn't look like it on the camera but in here like there's literally enough light to read a book and then you can, uh, the switch is right up here. And you can dim them off, right? And it's pretty cool. This is, uh, let's see. There's kind of the full view right there. So, it's brighter than the video is making it seem. It's actually weird how it's so dark on the video. It's super bright in here. All right, guys, going to bed now. I will see you in the morning. Morning, guys. Just woke up. There's a lot of birds, so that's what woke me up. And the sun. It's extremely bright right there. <sighs> yeah. So also, I think it's important to note, this thing is crazy. I love it. I had my phone plugged in all night long while I was sleeping, playing YouTube videos, because I kind of fall asleep better when I'm listening to something. So all night long, streaming YouTube, and it's still at 80%, and my phone's 100% charged this morning. So... Yeah, this thing could run my phone for days on end. I love it. Oh, look at this view. That's gorgeous. All right, guys. Let me show you how to properly make a fire. So, what I've done is I got some kindling here. The rule of thumb is, no pun intended, it's not actually your thumb, but for kindling, you want it to be no bigger and your pinky and actually it should be smaller than your pinky should be like the biggest so i went ahead and chopped up those there and then from there you want to have a second stage it's just a little bit bigger and that's supposed to be like thumb and bigger these are much bigger than that but since they're so dry and bought that it's it's going to do the trick just fine and then from there you get even to bigger into like your more fuel logs but this is what i like to do i like to put one down, one uh, big piece of fuel log down just for support so you can lean up your stuff against it. You can do a second one right here 
and just put them completely across, but it's it's not necessary. You know, you can just do this and lean it up a little bit because you want airflow to go under the fire. If you just did it like that, there'd be no airflow and you'd smother it and you'd just get smoke. And to start the fire today, we got this thing. This is from Pro Camtex. It's uh, essentially, it's just a big roll of tape, but let me see, hold on. You could literally only use, you know, two inches of this to start a fire if you know what you're doing. I mean, it's really easy to just like pull it out, get a whole bunch and bundle it under there. And that would work perfectly, but then it's kind of wasteful since this is, uh, since this is kind of expensive stuff, it's like 10 bucks a roll, but you should always be able to make a fire with this stuff. There's no reason you shouldn't. <laughs> this stuff is so flammable. I'll show you. It lights instantly. And you'll see. Yeah. That caught super easy just because this is <laughs> store-bought wood. And it's super, super dry. <clears throat> but, you know, same concept applies if you're gathering your own wood. Here in Washington, though, it's a little bit harder just because everything's so damp. I'll wait until the flames have gone well over your first layer, which they have now, like a few inches above. And once the flames are above your first layer, then you go ahead and add on more. And you just want to lay it on very gently. You don't want to like pack it on. You just kind of lay it on lightly. And then you wait until those flames are a few inches above that layer and you add more. And you can probably do that one more time. <clears throat> and then once you got a good, pretty good fire going, then you add your fuel logs that are the bigger ones. And that's it. But yeah, you can have a raging fire in like three minutes flat. See, only another maybe one minute has passed and it's gone pretty good now. All right, so remember, you always need that first base down there. Whoa. Okay, that was rude. Just trample through my campsite. So we're gonna be cooking some breakfast today. I have a peak refuel uh, breakfast meal that I could do on the jet boil, but I feel like cooking because I actually brought some stuff. I brought eggs, brought spam, some bread. So we are going to be cooking over the fire since I got a nice one here. Get the pan nice and hot. It's not too hot though. Take a little bit of butter. Grease the pan just a little bit, just so it doesn't stick. Although if you have a properly taken care of and seasoned cast iron, it wouldn't anyways, but this is just to be a little bit safer since we're actually cooking on a fire. I got some spam here. Like so. And I think we're even just gonna cook the eggs in the same pan. Why not? Let's try it out. And I will add the eggs in as soon as I flip the spam so that it all gets done around the same time. All right, I think it's about time to flip. Let's have a look. Perfect. 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 Don't knock it until you've fried it. Right, Spam? All right, time to add the eggs. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. Because the eggs are what's really gonna be
sketchy in a cast iron. There we go. Get in there. I threw a leather glove on. Hopefully that'll keep the heat so I can grab it. Oh yeah, that does the trick wonderfully. Look at that, it's a beauty. Oh yeah, see, that butter was the right idea because it just slides off. But they're actually not quite ready to flip. Just about. All right, let's see if I can do this. Might need to double wield for this. You don't usually want to use silicone or plastic in cast iron, but this is what I got. <coughs> so much smoke. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, God. It's hot. Ow. Come on, boy. Ow, fudge. Freaking hot right here. Ow. Actually, I got a better idea. Better idea. Bring it over here. I got some weird stuff right here. Not sure I like that, whatever that is. Ew. Go away. Just probably ash and stuff. Mmm, ash. Ashy eggs. Come on. Might split it, honestly. It'll be easier that way. There we go. Come on, boy. Be good to me now. Good. And, ugh, good. Don't break, please don't break. I hate when they break. Yeah, shoot, one broke. Come on, you see it running out right there? I just remembered I didn't bring a plate. So, I'm gonna try to put it on this cutting board. <laughs> Only because I need to use this pan still to make some toast. I mean, I guess I don't have to. I could just eat out of the pan, but I really want toast. So I'm gonna get it out. There we go. Looks pretty good. All right? Ow, it's getting hot. Ow. All right, now for the toast. Gotta get a lot of butter in here. Because this is basically what's gonna be buttering the bread. But since my butter's cold, it was in the cooler, it's not gonna spread on bread, so I'm gonna put it in here and then just lay the bread on top. It should crisp up real nice. One there, one there. Perfect, give that a good three, four minutes. All right, let's have a look, see how we're doing. Not quite. I'm getting there. All right, let's have a look. I think it's gonna be perfect now. Oh, just about. Yeah. All right. Let's get this side in a little bit of the butter. Oh, that's hot. Holy S, as Sam would say. All right, and we are ready to eat. Look at that breakfast. Who says you can't make good food camping? Bought my trusty spork here. <laughs> A little bit of this, a little bit of spam. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come. Don't be shy now. Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. Looks pretty good, right? Can you see that? I can't tell, but yeah. Mmm, our perfectly crispy toast. You hear that? 
Now this is the proper way to eat Spam and eggs right here. Yeah, you just lay that right on top like so. Oh yeah, make a little sandwich. Come on. That is stupid good. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. See, this is when you know you've taken good pair of your cast iron. Good, this is, see. <clears throat> so this is how you know that you've taken good care of your cast iron. Look at this, I'm cooking, and it's basically clean. Like, I don't even need to scrub or anything. I can just take a paper towel and kind of just wipe the rest down. And yeah, it, it's, you can, you can tell. Oh, shit. All right, guys, just finished up with breakfast. Uh, delicious Spam and eggs, can't go wrong with that. That's the way to do it when you're camping. Um, Bring your cast iron always. Now I'm gonna go find a hike because I still got plenty of daylight and it's a beautiful day again, no clouds, just completely sunny, look at that. You see that? So yeah, let's go find something cool. All right, so we're going to this place called Marymere Falls. It's near Lake Crescent, which is a gorgeous lake. If you haven't been there, you gotta go sometime. The color is, the color of the water is about the color of my sunglasses, honestly. And today is, yeah, man, come on, there's no better day than today. Anyways, yeah, so we're going to Marymere Falls. It's just a quick two mile hike, but people say that the waterfall is pretty awesome and you gotta see it. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna hit another one after that. Let's go. <clears throat> All right guys, we're at Marymere Falls right now at Lake Crescent. Lake Crescent's right over here, it's beautiful. The color of the water is amazing. We'll get a better shot up here, but let's hike to a waterfall. So we got the water right here. Do you guys see the color of this water? There's no special filters on right now. This is just real life. In some spots, when you're kind of looking down on it, it literally looks like, it looks like the, I don't know exactly what the flavor is, but of the light blue Gatorade. I've always thought that even, even when I came here as a teenager, I always thought this water looks like Gatorade in some spots. Just like really light blue. I think it's called like glacial freeze or something. But yeah, we got the water right here. And honestly, it's kind of warm today. If it wasn't for the wind, I'm tempted to actually just jump in. There's a dock over here. If you go out that way, there's this really cool place that has a cliff you can jump off. It's like 40 feet up. And there's a bridge that goes, it's called the Devil's Punch Bowl. It's supposed to be like the deepest part of this lake. And it, uh, I used to go there all the time as a kid and jump off the cliff. Kind of want to do it right now. Didn't bring any swim trunks, but whatever. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool tree. I don't think you guys understand how big this tree is. I mean, do you see that? Well, look at this. See how big that is? That's crazy. Crazy. Okay, I stand corrected. This is a big tree. Holy crap. This one is probably double the size. Come come on. Okay, let me give you You see this? five minutes into the hike and I'm wowed already how's it going Doing well great great got a nice little bridge here 
over the river. Uh, which way now? Left or right? We got right, we got left. I hate when there's no signs. Okay, we're going right. This bridge is a little more rustic style. I like this. This is cool. Oh yeah. I think I chose the right path. Oh, look at that. There's even a waterfall right back in there. You see that? Wow. Awesome. Whew. There's a lot of stairs up here. There's that falls. And you know what's funny is I think, oh, uh, okay. So we're actually already there because I see the falls up ahead. I'll show you once we turn this corner. It's more impressive. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. You'll see. Okay, this is way better than I thought it was going to be. Holy cow. Check this out. The breeze feels so good right here. And all the mist hitting you. Wow. I would like to go swim under that. Look at that. I would love to go in there. That's insane, guys. And look, we're still going up. I think, I think, I mean, I don't know, but maybe we go to the top. That would be a sweet view. Let's go. So it actually just stopped right down below here, but I'm going off the trail and climbing the hill. See if I can get around to the top. Cause I owe you guys a great shot. See, that's where it stops and I'm climbing. This is no trail. I'm just gonna see where I can go. There's the falls. Oh, I guess we'll see. Oh. I was just crawling, hands and feet, for the last couple minutes. But well, it looks like we are there. Look at this. I think just right past this big rock is the falls right there. Let's see. Bear with me now. Oh. We came up far. Oh yeah, this is it. I'm coming. You gotta see this, guys. You gotta see this. So that actually is a falls that's further up that you can't see from down there because that right there is the actual one that you see. So maybe if we go across that ridge, oh boy, here we go. Oh, I got myself right there. 
just because I have eczema on my hands and they cut really, really easily. I'm sure you've noticed in videos. But dang, this is pretty sketchy right here. Oh yeah, that goes down. Oh, you can't really see. We are up there. Ugh. Come on. Oh, you guys see that drop? All right, hold on, hold on. Here we are. All right, so we got that new one now. Come right over here. I should probably look at the ground and not the camera because that's how I'll slip and die, so let's see. Woo! So there's, okay. Well, I guess we gotta go down here a little bit. Okay. A little scared. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Grab that. Doesn't look steep on the camera, but it is. And that's the that's the drop off right there, guys. Whew. Now you remember how high up that was? Oh boy. Getting a little anxiety actually now that I'm looking over in a sec. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, hang on. Oh. I still can't get a good view, but I don't want to go closer. <laughs> All right, let me put the backpack down. I'll see if I can get you a better view. All right, this is as close as I want to be. If this was sturdy right here, I could grab onto this, but it's just, look how wobbly this is. I am not risking my life holding that. But... I got a root right here that I can hold on to. Uh, let's make sure this phone is secured on here tightly. It's a $1,500 phone. All right, I'm gonna try to lean over and give you a view. You guys see anything? Did you see anything? Dang, I wish I could get you a better view. But at the same time, I want to keep living. I got many more adventures to come. But trust me when I say, I don't get scared very often, but this is, this is a huge drop right here. And I'm on a slant. So it's not even like flat ground where I can just sit and chill. <sighs> All right. It's pretty sweet though. If it was flat right here, I might sit and eat some lunch, but there's not even that great of a view because all these bushes are in the way. And it's like a straight drop, so you can't see much unless you're like looking over the edge, which I can't get to. I mean, I'm literally like three feet from it, but I'm, I'm not going any closer. All right, almost back to the truck. As you can hear, final verdict of that waterfall though wow that was up there with one of the best i've seen and i've seen a lot of waterfalls and it's crazy that that's only two hours from my house and i've never been there before that's a shame but yeah that if you're ever in the area i would definitely say check out that waterfall it's a super easy short hike less than two miles it's kind of steep at the end but who cares if that's the view you know all right let's go check out somewhere else all right, guys, we're at another place right now. We actually went into the Olympic National Park and we're at a place called Soul Duck Trail. And we're going to Soul Duck Falls, but you can get to a whole bunch of trails from this trail. That's a lot of trails in one sentence. But there's like a bunch of lakes you can get to, which are further out. I'm just going to the falls for now. We'll see how I feel and maybe I'll even go to a lake after, but let's go. So we are up so high right now in the mountains that there's snow up here. It's sunny and beautiful, but I'm actually pretty dang cold. I packed a coat, so I guess we'll see. All right, I'm actually taking a little detour. I saw a sign that said campground this way. 
So I'm gonna go check that out because this is definitely a place I would like to come back and camp. And it looks like it's a, a hike in campground, which is cool. So you'd be backpacking in. And I have yeah, yet to do that. My last planned backpacking camp trip did not go as planned if you watch my other video at the ocean in La Push going to Third Beach. So I still gotta do that and I will soon, but let's go check out this campground, see how cool it is. Uh, we've hit a bit of an obstacle here. Gonna have to get over. Oh boy, okay. Let's see. Might need to put the camera down for this one. Just gotta jump down now. Man, it is so beautiful out here. I know I say it in every single video, but man, I just only go to beautiful places apparently. Okay, I really don't think they want you getting to this campsite, because look at this. That's the trail. <laughs> oh man, I, mm, I don't know. If it continues like this, I might not go this way. And it's extremely muddy. Yeah, that's a lot to get through. Huh. Oh. Spider-Man. Oh, man. What is going on with this? Look at this. Yeah, I don't know about this. I mean, you know no one's going to be at this, this campground. That's for damn sure. Imagine hauling in all your stuff, too, with a huge backpack on. How do you even get there? Why have they not maintained this? I've climbed up on a uh, bunch of logs here to see if I can see even where the trail is, and I, I don't even know. It's just down trees everywhere. That was the trail. And then, eh, then you just get lost, so. Hmm, okay. Going down. Oh. I really want to see this campground. I like hiking campgrounds. They're cool. Because they're like out in the woods and they're hidden and there's not a lot of people there usually. Well, I've managed to climb up this far here. Now I gotta go down there. And then down there. And it looks like that's the trail. <laughs> For all I know, this campsite is 10 miles out here. I have no idea how far I'm going and what I'm in for. I just saw a sign that said campground. And I followed it. All right. Oh, gosh. Ugh. <sighs> I hope it's worth the effort. Ah. Going in snow here. All right, let's go. Hey guys, what do you know? Uh, is it worth this? They say this is bear country here and bears are very common out here. Uh, Jeez. Guess we're going this way. Down here. Split the gap. Oh. And down. Whee. All right. I'm going to give it a little longer. And if things don't clear up, I'm turning back and heading back to the falls where I was originally going. Ow. Oh my good lord. Okay, I made it past that one, and 20 more feet. And we got this to go, go, God, go through. I mean, I've already come this far. I'm, I'm determined, so I'm gonna get through this. All right, I made it through that one, and it looks promising now. It's clearing up a little bit. Okay, we got a downed one right there, but that's not that bad. Man. 
I have copper knee sleeves on and they keep they keep falling see so I gotta pull them up don't mind me here <laughs> should have got a size smaller so there's a river right here I can hear it that's pretty cool usually they put campsites or campgrounds around the river so maybe we're getting close let's see I just cleared another one right here. And we're gonna parkour this right here. Check it out. Oh, parkour. Oh. That was pretty sweet. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Look at this. Look at all these uh, flowers that are about to bloom. I don't know what kind they are, but that's cool. They're just bulbs right now. Wow, they go everywhere too. Look at that tree turned over, holy crap, that's the roots. Interesting. You guys hear the river now? Oh, I really hope we're close. Check out this, this is sick. I mean, this was worth it right here. Look at that, I got the water. Look how crystal clear that water is. You can see the bottom. Wow. Man, if it was hotter and there wasn't snow on the ground up here, I would, honest to God, take off my shirt, take off my pants, just get in my boxers, and jump in there if it was hot. If I was like really hot and sweating right now, but I'm not. Because there's freaking snow on the ground. Look at all this. This is the least maintained trail I think I've ever been on. And it's in a national park. I mean, there should have at least been a sign back where I saw the sign that said campground this way that said, like, either closed or, you know, some kind of warning that it's, <laughs> there's downed trees everywhere. So I don't even know where to go. Huh, I made it across that. I didn't realize there was, it's a complete swamp in there. There's water, so I could not even touch the ground. <sighs> Clearing up again. Question for you guys. Would you rather hike somewhere with an amazing view, like somewhere up high, just a gorgeous view of like either a valley or mountain, I don't know, just a really cool view, or would you rather hike somewhere with a really cool waterfall at the end? If you only had the two options. That's a tough one. Uh, I don't I'm not even sure which one I'd pick probably the view Waterfalls are cool and all but I mean, I guess it depends on the waterfall too, huh? I don't know. Let me know in the comments If anyone ever comments on my videos <laughs> Got a little opening here. I mean I should just uh, Sit down somewhere. I mean this is gorgeous. I just eat lunch out here. I mean I got a hundred different options to choose from just to chill if I can't make it to the campsite man isn't it crazy these roots how big they were like how does something like that even fall over it's ridiculous uh, sun feels good it's nice and warm now I'm actually you know I'm getting to the point where I might want to jump in you know I know it's still in the middle of the day so it's not as, uh, not as scary, I guess. But you could still easily run out, or run, oh, I'm tired, guys. You could still easily run into a bear out here. And I'm the only one on this trail, that's for sure. I haven't seen a soul. So, yeah, what would you do if you ran into a bear right now, in the middle of the day, out here? Didn't bring my gun. Sometimes I do. Usually only when I'm doing backpacking, uh, camping, when I'm going out somewhere and I'm, there's not going to be anyone around. But, yeah. What do you do? I don't know what I would do, honestly. I think, you know, oh, I, I know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, like, show no fear and charge the bear. Scare them off. That's what you're supposed to do. So I bet you anything, if and when I get to this campground, which, I mean, I've already probably gone two miles, so it definitely wasn't a close trail. 
to where I was. But I guarantee you, I bet money on it. Then when I get there, there will not be a soul there. Guaranteed. If I ever get there. All right. I am another, I don't know, half mile, three quarter mile in. Still nothing, but at least the trail is decent now. But I'm, I was wondering, like, almost every sign I've seen on a trailhead, it always says, you know, left arrow to somewhere, but then it has the miles next to it. It almost always does, but this one didn't. And I'm wondering why. I wish it would have told me how far I'm going. I'm actually getting hungry now. I packed a sandwich and some banana chips. That's it. And some drinks. So at least my backpack's pretty light. Workout detected. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. The road is right there. Really? Oh, I feel better. I thought we were going like, my sense of direction's all messed up after going through all that crap that I had to go through. Yeah, I thought we were just going like way out deeper into the forest, but no. I guess we're going like down one of the roads or adjacent to it, so that's, that's good. I wonder if I'm just going back. <laughs> you know what? Okay, so there's something I didn't film before I got here, I actually stopped at a campground on the way up here, just off the road. And I walked through it. I didn't film because I was charging my phone. It was about to die. And I wanted to be able to film when I got to the falls. And I walked around it and I'm, and there was a, like a little trail that you could walk through the campground and I could see that it, it went further in each direction. I wonder if I'm just heading back to that campsite. There's snow on the ground. <laughs> that would be hilarious if I hiked all the way back to where I came from. And it was, it was miles. It was miles down the road. I kept going up deeper into the forest trying to get to the falls. And now I'm wondering if I'm just going all the way back to that campsite. <laughs> if that's the case, I honestly might just walk the road back because I don't want to go through that again. Maybe I'll hitchhike. Ooh, maybe I'll hitchhike. So it turned out it did go to the campsite I was already at earlier, down the road a few miles. So I'm just gonna walk the road back because that was too much effort going through all that stuff. So I'm just driving through another campsite and there's some deer right here, check it out. Wonder how close I could get. Oh look, there's another one. Hey. Look how close I am to these deer right here. They're just chilling, look. What's up guys? Hey, what's up? I'm gonna try to get a little closer. Don't be scared, it's just me. I'm legit like 10 feet away from this deer right here. And he don't care. Want some food? <laughs> you want it? Want this? Hey buddy. There you go. It's okay. Guys, he's eating the hot dog bun. <laughs> he's eating a hot dog bun. Six feet in front of me. It's okay. Yeah, you like it? <laughs> they like hot dog buns, apparently. What's up, dude? 
Want some bread? I've been feeding them, but I haven't been able to film because my freaking phone is dead. It's at 2% right now. There you go. Oh, he's out of here. Okay, well these guys want some. Watch this. Watch. Ugh, right there. Oh, there you go. Guys, look how close I am to this guy. Probably four feet. I honestly think he might eat out of my hand. I'm the deer whisperer, guys. Watch this. This guy's gonna eat out of my hand. Hey, buddy. Come on. Here. It's okay. Oh, he's scared. It's okay. Watch this. Here you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Finally done with the hike. Made it back to the truck. And I'm heading home now, but I wanted to stop and do one more thing before I went home. I just can't resist. I mean, look at this lake. Look at this day. It's beautiful. See this? It's hard to pass up this opportunity. So, I'm gonna do one last thing real quick. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Oh, God. <laughs>